you another story of Panchatantra. And the title of the story is The Lion and the Cheetah. Long time ago in a jungle lived a lion named Oliver. Oliver was the king of the jungle. He and Cheetah Lucifer were good friends. One day, Oliver casually said to Lucifer, No animal can withstand me. You are right, Oliver. However, you act like a mouse in front of elephants. <laughs> Oliver got severely angry. How dare you say this, Lucifer? I was just kidding, Oliver. Not Oliver. King. Call me King. Just like the other animals do. You are no different. But Oliver, we are friends, right? Our friendship is over. I will never talk to you again. Lucifer went away disheartened. After a few days, the minister of the jungle, Fox Looney Nap Monkey Rocket, the most wanted criminal of the jungle, and presented him in front of Oliver. Rocket, the legend of your robberies is famous in jungle far away. You have not only robbed the animals, but have stolen my stuff as well. You get death sentence. Two months from now, you will be thrown from the cliff. Fox Looney put Rocket in prison as soon as Oliver announced his decision. Rocket's friend Doodle Deer came to see him as the new servant. Rocket, I told you, you'll be nabbed someday if you don't stop stealing. Leave Doodle. Whatever had to happen, I'm just worried about my family. I wish I could have done something for them. Doodle got puzzled as he listened to Rocket. He went to meet Oliver and said, My king, I'm Rocket's friend. I have come to say something. Say what you want to say. My king, I want you to set Rocket free so that he can go to his home and help his family. He is a very cunning robber and I have no sympathy for him. Even if I release him, what guarantee is there that he won't run away? I can't take any risk. Doodle thought for a while, then said, Okay, my king. Please release Rocket. Till the time he returns, I will stay in prison on his behalf. What if he never returns? Will you accept death sentence as well? Oliver agreed and released Rocket in exchange of putting Doodle in the prison. Don't worry Doodle, I will come back soon. Rocket left and Doodle stayed in prison. Many days passed, but Rocket didn't return. One day, Oliver went to Doodle and said, Doodle, I told you, Rocket will not come back. As per our agreement, if Rocket doesn't return by tomorrow evening, then you will be thrown from the cliff. When Rocket didn't show up next day, Oliver and Looney took Doodle to the top of the mountain. Doodle, your friend cheated you. Now get ready to die. Doodle replied fearlessly. It's okay, my king. I'm ready to die for my friend. Suddenly, Rocket showed up. Then after reaching the spot, he said, Don't have to do this, my friend. I'm forever thankful for what you have done for me. Now, I will conclude my punishment. Rocket, why did you come back? I would have served the punishment. No, Doodle, I did this right. So I should be the one serving punishment. Oliver thought as he noticed their friendship. Both of them are ready to die for each other. And I broke friendship with my best friend for a tiny reason. After thinking for a while, Oliver said, No one has to die. 
on the grounds of your friendship. I am forgiving you. But remember Rocket, if you are again found stealing, I will not forgive you. No my king, I will never rob again. Okay, now you can go. Rocket and Doodle happily went away. Oliver then went to meet his friend Lucifer and said, Lucifer, I have come here to apologize. I shouldn't have got angry on your joke. Please forgive me my friend. But my king who? Call me Oliver. From now on, you will call me by my name. Because that's what friends do. <laughs> this way, through the friendship of Rocket and Doodle, Oliver realized his mistake and apologized to Lucifer and restored their friendship. So friends, from this story we learn a lesson that sometimes the good deeds of others become our source of inspiration. We should keep on doing good deeds because we never know how many people we might inspire around.